Let's talk about homeschool pre-algebra. Now, if your child is taking pre-algebra from home, one of the things that they definitely need to understand is the difference between an equation and an inequality. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick explanation between an equation and an inequality, things that your child needs to understand. But before I do, I'm going to quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if your child needs help in algebra, whether it's pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, or pre-calculus, you definitely have to check out my award-winning homeschool math program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. Okay, so here we have an equation, 2x plus 1 is equal to 9, and here we have a compound inequality. So we have x is greater than 3 and at the same time less than 7. So let's take a look at the difference between an equation and an inequality right now. Okay, now I'm not going to teach everything about how to solve equations and inequalities. The main idea of this video is just to uh, really make sure your child understands the main conceptual differences between equations, which are mathematical statements that have an equal sign. So in mathematics or algebra, when you have a statement that has an equal sign, this is an equation. Now, if you have a statement that has an inequality symbol in it, well, this is an inequality. All right, so we have major differences between equations and inequalities, and uh, let's go ahead and highlight some uh, real important ones right now. Now, uh, an equation is what? Well, what we're doing is equating one side of the equation to the other. So this uh, statement right here, or this part of the equation 2x plus 1, is equal to 9. So what does that mean? Well, it means that this entire variable expression is also 9, okay? Or it has the value of 9 because 9 is equal to 9. So if the right-hand side of this equation is 9, well, then this right here must also be equal to 9. Now, of course, it says 2x plus 1. But uh, what we're trying to do here is find the value of x, right? such that when we plug it in, this entire side of the equation is 9, okay? Because if we find such a value, that value is called the solution to the equation. So let's uh, take a look at how to do this. So when we learn how to solve equations, we're looking for the specific solution to that equation. So to solve this simple equation, all we would, all we would have to do is subtract 1 from both sides of the equation, add down in a column manner, so we're going to get 2x is equal to 8, right? Because the 1, 1's over here go away, and we have 9 minus 1, that's 8. And then, of course, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So x is equal to 4. So if x is equal to 4 is the correct solution, what that means is if I replace this x with 4 and uh, do this math on this side of the equation, hopefully it's going to be equal to 9. So we can check to see if we have the actual solution. So 2 times 4, anytime you are replacing a variable with a number, you always want to use parentheses. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So 2 times 4 plus 1, is this equal to 9? Well, 2 uh, times 4 is 8. So 8 plus 1 is 9. So 4 indeed is the solution. Now, the main idea here is that we have one number that makes this true. Okay, so x is equal to 4 is the solution. In other words, we don't have multiple solutions here. We have one number that uh, satisfies this equation. Now, in algebra, you can have equations that have multiple solutions. But uh, what I want you to kind of focus in on is that when we're dealing with equations, generally speaking, you're going to have a finite number of solutions, right? You're not going to have an infinite number of solutions. You're going to have like one, two, three, four uh, numbers that are going to be the answer to that equation. And this is in contrast to an inequality. An inequality has an infinite number of solutions. Okay, so the main idea that I want, uh, you know, anyone watching this video to understand is that equations have finite number of solutions, whereas inequalities have an infinite number of solutions. So let's take a look at this simple inequality right here. 
So we're thinking of some number. X is some number, or the solution to this inequality is some number that is greater than 3 and at the same time less than 7. So can you think of some numbers that would work here? Well, if you're saying, well, I think 4 would work, and I would absolutely agree. So we can plug in this, uh, we can replace this x with the 4 and see if this is true. So is, uh, let me write this out this way. So we have 4 right here, and we have our 7 right here. So is 4 greater than 3? Yes, that is true. And at the same time, is 4 less than 7? Yes, that is true. So 4 is a solution. But it's not the only solution, right? So 5 works as well, and so does 6. So we have different numbers here that work to this uh, inequality. But uh, here is the big idea, all right? So we're talking about numbers that are greater than 3. Matter of fact, let's see this graphically. So here is 3, and here is 7. So all numbers that are greater than 3 and less than 7 would work here, okay? So if we kind of uh, draw a line between 3 and 7 on a number line, how many numbers that does this represent, right? Whoops, let me kind of get my line back. How many numbers do we have here? Well, we have an infinite amount, right? So right here, we could have the number like 3.00001. Okay, that is a good solution. 3.00000001 works as well. So you can see here, we can have an infinite number of solutions to this inequality. So the main idea is to understand that inequalities have infinite solutions, and oftentimes we like to represent their solutions graphically, okay? Or we can write it in different ways as well. But uh, that is in contrast to an equation where you just have a finite number of solutions. So again, this is stuff that you definitely do at the pre-algebra level, and equations and inequalities are a huge part of algebra. Not only pre-algebra, but Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, and beyond. So you definitely need to understand this stuff, you know, at a foundational level. Now, again, if you need help uh, homeschooling mathematics, you definitely got to check out my award-winning program. We're really proud of uh, winning a particular award. You'll see more information about that if you follow the link in the description of this video. Matter of fact, uh, this is our fourth year in a row winning the middle and high school math category. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your homeschooling adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.